Hank Andolfini's sudden and untimely death has left his many fans and friends stunned and devastated. Yeah, really. ABC's entertainment correspondent Jason Nathanson is uh, live in our Los Angeles bureau right now this morning with more on the reaction. And Jason, stunned really is the word. As you were getting confirmation on this, what kind of reaction were you hearing from people you talked to? Yeah, it really was sad and shocking, I think, to a lot of people, because usually when something like this happens, I mean, sadly, when it's somebody older, usually you'll call around, try to get some confirmation, get some reaction, and it'll be kind of expected. But with something like this, it's just so unexpected, and people were just devastated. The first people I talked to were in his manager's office. They couldn't really say anything. People at HBO, when I finally talked to them and got confirmation from them that he had died, they were just beside themselves. And we're, we're slow getting reaction tonight on camera or on the phone from people in Hollywood. We're getting a lot of statements, but people don't want to go on camera or on the phone right now because they're just, I think, too broken up about this. Jason, it seems like they're just not ready for it. And, you know, when we think about uh, James Gandolfini, the first thing that comes to mind for a lot of people is The Sopranos and this big role that he played as Tony Soprano. How exactly, we've been talking about this all morning, how exactly did the show revolutionize TV? Well, I mean, before this show, nobody really counted on these networks like HBO and, and AMC and all these things that we see winning the Emmys nowadays and actors winning the Emmys and these shows winning best drama and things like that. It was all the networks before that. And The Sopranos came along and James Gandolfini, he won three Emmys and The Sopranos won a bunch of Emmys. And then since then, we've basically seen, you know, Brian Cranston win and shows like Breaking Bad win and uh, Mad Men. So that show came along and really just kind of change the landscape of what we watch and what wins at these shows. Let's talk about some of the projects that James Gandolfini had in the works. He was certainly so much more than just Tony Soprano. Absolutely. And I was really looking forward to this. It was an HBO miniseries coming up called Criminal Justice. And he was going to be playing a kind of disheveled jailhouse lawyer. And it really looked like a lot of fun to kind of see him come back in a role. You know, you see him in these movie roles and he didn't really have the big movie roles. Right. We saw him in Zero Dark Thirty, played a small role, Leon Panetta in that. But to see him in this, this was going to be seven, uh, seven episodes. So we could see him like in The Sopranos, kind of flesh out a character. And that was going to be fun to watch. And now I don't know exactly. It's kind of up in the air. I don't know how many episodes of that he filmed. Wow, a disheveled jailhouse lawyer. That sounds like a great role for him. Mm -hmm. All right, Jason Nathanson, yeah. thank you very much. We appreciate it.